All right guys, so for breakfast today, I'm gonna be doing egg whites and some baby spinach. And I'm also gonna be adding in some jalapenos because that is what my trainer says I can do. I am following a very specific meal plan. So I'm just going to have half a cup of these, um, a handful of spinach, cause I like to add spinach to just about every meal I can and some jalapenos. And then I'm also gonna be having half a cup of oatmeal that I've already prepared as meal prep. So I'll show you guys what that looks like when I'm done. Okay, so here's my meal prep for this week. My meal prep, here's my breakfast for this week. It's just something that I'm gonna be eating every day. Um, I do have something different on the weekends, so I might vlog this weekend and give you guys an extra what I eat in a day video. Um, if you're interested in that, just let me know in the comments. But here is my half cup egg whites with some spinach. I added some jalapenos in there like y'all saw. And then you've seen my oatmeal recipe so many times, but if you haven't, it was in um, the week before last video. So I'll have that linked up in the cards for you guys as well as down below in the description. But just half a cup of these prepared oats, real nice and simple. There's nothing in these except for cinnamon and the Walden Farms maple syrup. Uh, so yeah, this is my breakfast and I am drinking my water right now. In the mornings, I prepare my water with this BPI Sports Best Aminos. This is BCAAs. It really just helps with like muscle recovery because I am sore from doing 75 hard in like two workouts in a day. Like it's intense on your body. So I drink a cup of this every morning with just a scoop of that. And I've already gotten a good go ahead on my um, gallon of water. It's 720 right now and I'm already past the 8 a.m. So I'm feeling really good about that. I'm gonna go ahead and get to this. And sorry if you guys are hearing noise in the background. I'm listening to Clubhouse, my new obsession. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I'll catch up you guys at my snack. Okay, so it's 10.30 right now and I'm getting ready to have my first snack. I picked up this frozen edamame shell because that is allowed on my meal plan today for one of my snacks. And I'm going to go ahead and measure out half a cup. I actually am not a huge edamame person. Um, so the cooking instructions say I can either cook them in the microwave or on the stove top, but I'm gonna try and make them in my air fryer and see if that works. So let's see what we come up with. Okay, so I'm gonna pour them in here in a bowl of hot water and just kind of let them defrost for five minutes and then I'll dry them off. Okay, I'm gonna dry them just a little bit here between two paper towels. So then I'm just going to spray them with a little spray of avocado oil spray. I got this stuff at Costco. I'm just gonna do like a little light spritz there and I'm gonna season with some pink salt and maybe a little bit of garlic powder. Just like a little dab. A little bit of garlic powder. I think this would be really good if you put like some Parmesan on here or something. I think that would be tasty, but I'm not doing that. I'm being good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place them right into the air fryer basket. Okay, there they go. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the air crisp at 400. And I don't know, I'll probably do like, maybe I'll start off with like five minutes and just kind of see what they're looking like. Okay guys, so I ended up doing three more minutes. So a total of eight minutes and they look nice and crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and dish these up and this is my snack. These are good. All right, you guys, so I'm getting ready to do a little bit of meal prep right now. It's 12.30 and I'm actually supposed to be eating my next meal, which is chicken breast, but I don't have it um, de-thawed. So I'm gonna have the rest of this salmon that I made the other night, just because I don't like having salmon too late, like after I cook it. Um, so I've got some steak here for dinners. Um, I'm waiting on the chicken to defrost for my lunch meal. I've got some egg whites, spinach, and jalapenos for my breakfast. And then I also have some Quaker oats. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my breakfast um, because I don't mind it's Monday today you guys will be seeing this on a Wednesday but I'm gonna go ahead and prepare for Tuesday Thursday 
I'm <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I have something different and I'm gonna make that fresh. I'm going to go ahead and just make my breakfast for the next four days and have it all ready to go. And then for the lunch, it is a chicken and quinoa uh, with veggies. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare uh, the quinoa, have it all ready to go, and the veggies. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the air fryer. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how I do a really simple, easy meal prep. Oh, also, I did want to share these meal portion containers. Um, I got these two in a pack at the Dollar Tree, actually. They're just the regular um, medium-sized containers. They've got two little pockets and then like a big portion. Um, so I have a few of these. I think I have six in total. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that for some lunches and dinners as well. Um, this is just nice for like, especially on the go and things like that. So don't sleep on your local Dollar Tree, guys. Make sure you don't cash out on those super expensive meal prep containers if you don't have to. I feel like these wash really well and I've reused them a couple of times and I like them. Okay, so I just took four ounces of the salmon. I weighed it out on my scale and then I've got it on a bed of lettuce with some spinach, cucumbers, some tomatoes, and then I'm gonna top it with this Walden Farms Chipotle Ranch. I don't have any carbs ready to go yet. I might use this opportunity to sneak in um, a rice cake later, <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna let my trainer know. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this for lunch and then while the meats are defrosting, I'll get them all ready to go for meal prep. That literally did not last long at all, but it's time for some coffee. Okay, so the coffee creamer that I'm gonna be using is this Coffee Mate uh, sugar-free Italian sweet cream, and I'm actually gonna measure it out. So the serving size on this is 15 milliliters for one tablespoon. We're gonna go ahead and do 30 mils for two tablespoons, and I'm just gonna pour it in until it says 30. I'm gonna try not to go overboard, because you guys would be surprised. See, look at that, that's already a serving would be surprised at how quickly, see look at me, 33, that's good enough, whatever. Um, so that is going to be my coffee. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of collagen in there today, so I'll show you what that looks like. I've been meaning to get better about taking my collagen again. I just keep on forgetting, literally. This is from NutriCost. It is a salted caramel flavor, so I think salted caramel and um, sweet Italian cream will do really good. I'm gonna go ahead and just Pour in a serving there. This little whisk, guys, is a lifesaver. Seriously, just makes everything so much better. And then the coffee pod that I used today was this Starbucks two times caffeine blonde roast. I talked about that in my grocery haul. Um, love this stuff, so good. It's 12.51 right now, so mama definitely needs a little boost of caffeine, you know what I'm saying? Midday hump, cheers. All right guys, so to start off this meal prep, I am just going to prep my quinoa. I start off with a cup of quinoa and then I'm also going to be adding in vegetable broth because I heard that this gives it more flavor, so I'm adding two cups into that. I'm gonna put it on my stove top, let it boil, and then I'm just going to turn the heat down, cover it, and let it do its thing. And then I am going to prep my chicken. I wash my chicken, so don't judge me and don't be in my comments. It's just something that I do and something that I've always done. I always wash with lemon juice and um, vinegar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prep that and then I'm also going to cut the chicken breast in half. I find that by cutting the chicken in half allows it to cook more evenly and I like that. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do for all of these chicken breasts here. Okay, so I'm actually going to be pressure cooking these chicken breasts in the Ninja Foodie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my seasoned chicken breast. I'm gonna have to cook them in batches. I've got four other chicken breasts in um, the sink still that I'm going to be making my kids and my husband's meal prep for the week with, but I'm gonna be making the chicken in the same way. I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth to the bottom of the pot here, about a cup or so to the bottom of the pressure cooker. And then I am going to just add my chicken in there one by one. And I'm going to pressure cook these. And I'm gonna decide on how many minutes I'm gonna pressure cook. But then once I'm done pressure cooking them, once they're cooked 
like just before they're done cooking all the way through, I'm going to take them out, dump the liquid, and air fry them for a nice crisp. You guys, I don't think I've pointed out, but I absolutely love my Ninja Foodi. I love it because it is a pressure cooker, like an instant pot. It is an air fryer, air crisp. You can steam vegetables. You can bake and roast in here. I've roasted an entire chicken in this thing. You can slow cook and make yogurt or use like a crock pot. You can broil like your oven and sear and saute like you can a pan on the stove. And you can also dehydrate and make jerky. This thing is literally every device you would need in your home in one. So if you're somebody who lacks cabinet or countertop space like I do, this is your this is your thing. Like get this. I promise you you're going to love it. I cook basically every single meal in my house in this device. So, I'll have that link down below in the description box for you guys. Um if you do use my link, thank you so much. Um so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put the pressure lid on. It comes with a separate lid and everything, obviously. You go ahead and put that on. You're going to want to make sure that you are on seal. So there's a seal and then there's a vent. You're going to want to make sure you're on seal. And then you're just going to turn it on. I'm going to do pressure cook on high. I'm going to change the time to, it should be seven minutes. I mean, ten minutes. But I'm going to cook it for seven minutes because I want to air fry it the last few minutes. So and then start. And then it does all of its stuff for you, and that's literally it. I broke out my cast iron skillet because I'm about to make my steaks for my dinner, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this preheated up a little bit um, and get some olive oil in a pan here. I like to let my cast irons heat up and get the oil nice and hot because I do like to sear my steaks on both sides really well. And let's go ahead and get those steaks nice and seasoned. Okay right, guys, so I've got the Steaks here. I'm gonna give them a nice sear on each side for about a minute or two. So that's the sound you want to hear when cooking steaks. I like a nice crispy skin on the outside and like nice and medium on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook these up on both sides. I'm gonna flip it after a minute or so. My quinoa is looking pretty good. Let me check it here. Ooh, ooh foggy. Sorry. Um. Yeah, so this is good, nice and light and fluffy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off now. I think I made entirely too much, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm actually going to um, let this cook for just a little while longer, but I'm gonna start taking some of these steaks off because they're gonna be for later. And when I heat things up in the microwave again, I don't want them to be like super dry, so I'm gonna have it be a little less done than what I actually like, um, if that makes sense. All right guys, there are my steaks. I'm gonna let them rest for 10 minutes before I even touch them, um, and I'll slice them up and weigh them out here in a little bit. Over here, my chicken is done. This is counting down now. I'm gonna do a quick release. I'm gonna just turn it to I'm That's gonna let all of the pressure out, and then what I'm gonna do is, I'll wait until this is done. Okay, so you're gonna wanna slowly, once it's like done releasing all the pressure, ooh, it's really hot, you wanna be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate, and you always wanna lift away from you. It's not gonna let me just yet. So, you're gonna wanna lift away. Ooh, look at all that steam, baby. Okay, so that's what the chicken looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and empty out the liquid out of this pan and put it back in here, spray the top with some olive oil. This is literally the best way to make chicken in the Ninja Foodie. I absolutely love the way that this comes out. It's nice and flavorful and moist and I love, I love doing the air fryer at the end because it just gives it um, the nice, beautiful skin that we all want on our chicken. I'm gonna reserve this liquid because I've gotta do another batch of chicken. So now 
the pot's empty, um, dry, so now I can air fry it. So I'm gonna take the chicken, put it back in here. I'm gonna flip the chicken over. I don't know why I just do this. I'm gonna spray it and then I'm gonna flip it over and spray it again. So I'm gonna take my avocado oil spray and I'm gonna just spray the tops of the chicken really quickly. I'm gonna turn it around. This is gonna help it develop like the nice crispy skin. What? Another movie. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray it. And then I am going to air crisp. So now I'm going to turn this off. Turn this back on with the air crisper. And then I'm gonna do like another like four minutes. Boom. All right guys, so here is my chicken. I don't know if you guys can see like how nice and crispy it is. Okay, so um, my breakfast every morning is half a cup of egg whites. So what I'm going to do is measure out um, two cups of egg whites. I'm gonna put in a little bit of olive oil into the pan. And then I don't measure spinach or any greens or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add in some chopped spinach and some jalapenos and stuff like that. Um, this is super simple. So because I cooked all three days worth of eggs in one pot, the easiest way for me to measure this out evenly is to weigh all of the eggs together and then divide that number by three. And then I know exactly how many ounces I'm going to be putting into the container bin. So this is the easiest way for me to do this whenever I like batch cook meals. And I find that it is the most effective in making sure that I'm keeping my macros on point. Okay guys, so the last thing that I'm gonna make are these um, steamed vegetables. I get half a cup per serving at lunch, so I'm gonna go ahead, I've already measured it up. It looks pretty slim, so I'm gonna add a little bit more veggies, but I'm just gonna add some olive oil, some seasonings, and I'm gonna throw it in the air fryer for about five minutes and get it nice and crispy. Okay guys, so that's all my meal preps. I've got my chicken and quinoa and veggies here for three days. I've got my steak for four nights. This is what I have for dinner. You'll see that later. And then I've got my eggs and oatmeal. And then this is just some extra eggs that I'll probably have um, tomorrow or something. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited that I got all that done. Keep dancing in the Okay guys, so I forgot to film this as I was eating it, but for dinner tonight, I just had five ounces of that steak that I cooked earlier. Tonight, before I go to bed, I'm gonna have a protein shake, so that's why I'm just doing protein right now. Um, I try to eliminate as many carbs as I can. Uh, that's just something that my trainer wants me to do, so that's why I'm just eating protein for dinner, but that's okay because the steak turned out perfect. It's so delicious, and yeah, really good. All right guys, so it is super late, but I just got done with my final workout and I've already entered my whole day into my fitness pal. I'm gonna end it with a um, protein pal protein shake. Um, this honestly helps me with my sweet tooth. I'm gonna go ahead, I have in half of a frozen banana, some ice and water. I'm gonna do half a scoop of this Shakeology. I'm gonna do uh, half a tablespoon of chia seeds. Wait, yeah, half a tablespoon of chia seeds. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of this Hershey cacao powder. I am also gonna add in two tablespoons of this PB2 Fit. And then I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of this maca powder. Maca powder, again, is really good for your hormones. So adding all of this into the shake, and this is going to be my night shake. I like to make this really thick, so if I need to add more ice, I will. Um, so let's do it. 
So for my smoothie this day, I did add in one tablespoon of chia seeds, one tablespoon of cacao powder, two tablespoons of the PB2 Fit. I added in half a serving of my protein powder, and then I also added in a teaspoon of maca powder. And I went ahead and mixed this up with a fork before blending so that the powders didn't go everywhere, and I added in a splash of almond milk as well. Okay, so here is my shake. It's nice and thick. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this while I just do some night chores. It's 10.30 right now, so yeah. I'm gonna end the night off with this. Um, I'm just gonna run through really quickly and show you guys my macros for today. I had my breakfast meal in there, the egg whites, the old-fashioned oatmeal, my veggies, and everything. And then the lunch, I had my salmon salad with the chipotle dressing, and then dinner, I had the sirloin. And then the two snacks that I didn't film, so I had three rice cakes that I did not even film for you guys. I completely forgot, but I did have one apple cinnamon rice cake and two chocolate rice cakes. And I had three tablespoons of peanut butter, which is probably not the best, but oh well. Say la vie. Um, so I had the edamame, the light and fit vanilla uh, yogurt, and then the rice cakes with peanut butter. And then I'm ending it off with the shake for tonight. So that is everything for today. Um, I... I'm like, I cannot freaking hit my macro goals. Like, it just, just not doing it. So like my protein, I hit 112 grams, but I was supposed to hit 173. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm sure my coach will tell me. Oops. Sure my coach will give me something when she sees my food diary, because she sees my food diary, so I track every day. Um, but I haven't gone over much, so... Like, my goal for fat was 76, but I'm at 69, but for some reason it says my percentages are a little off, so hopefully I'll get that figured out. But it's the first week, you know, it's the first week, whatever. So it tracked my exercise, so I am going to go ahead and close out today, complete the diary for today, complete, and there we go. It, it gives you this, like, this little... Um, estimation thing but anywho that's it guys I'm gonna go ahead and finish this drink and that's the last thing I'm eating for today